NASA is celebrating a special milestone for the James Webb Telescope. That's right. One year ago today, we received the first images from truly the edge of the universe. Check it out. These are just some of those incredible shots that we've seen over the last year. Think about how much time, money, research, and energy went into bringing this to you. The telescope floats 930,000 miles from Earth and has given us the first pictures of faraway galaxies. With such incredible clarity, Errol. Yeah. Well, we are excited because NASA Administrator Bill Nelson joins us now, and I think he is just as excited as we are to talk about this. I, I want to show our um, uh, our viewers this stunning image to celebrate the one year anniversary that NASA put out. It shows a small star forming region in a complex of interstellar clouds. It is great to have you with us in part because you can then explain for all of us what we're seeing in this incredible image. It's amazing. Uh, this is a star nursery and it's relatively close to us. Uh, it's in our own galaxy. It's about 390 light years away. Now, a light year is the distance that it takes light to travel in a year, and light travels at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. So that's a long way away, but it's relatively close in our own galaxy. And what you're seeing is a star nursery. It's a, a swirl of gas, and dust, and it produces stars, and it'll spit these stars out along those edges where the orange turns bright. That's where it's spitting stars out of this stellar nursery. Wow, and it's like mind boggling to think that we are all made up of what we're seeing, right? And because of what you're saying about the time it takes for light to travel, we're literally looking back into time. Mm -hmm in our universe. But, you know, we all like sharing our baby pictures, but why is it important <laughs> for us to see the baby pictures of our universe? How is that helpful to life here on Earth? Well, one of the very first images a year ago that was shown to President Biden was, get this, looking back and capturing light that has been traveling for 13 and a half billion years. Yikes. In other words, it was the formation of the very first galaxies after the very beginning, which was about 13.8 billion years ago. Now, it, I'm just a country boy. That's concepts that's hard for me to get my mind around. You know, it, it, as you were explaining it, I was actually thinking the same thing, this Iowa girl, that it really stretches our our thoughts about how we exist in this universe. Um, but uh, Administrator Nelson, all of this hasn't been smooth sailing for the James Webb Telescope. There have actually been some close calls along the way. Um, talk to us about that and what this has to say about the work that NASA's done. Well, the close calls were whether or not it was ever gonna get built uh, because it was way over budget, it was way behind time. Uh, but uh, the science community kept saying, keep at it, keep at it, we know. And it turns out it's about a $10 billion investment. But the return on that investment is incredible because we're gonna keep getting these images and we are going to be answering questions that we don't even know what the questions are. And this is going on for at least 20 years. It has enough fuel to operate. And by then, we will have figured out how to refuel it up there where it's positioned a million miles from Earth on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun. That uh, we know that a lot of technology that NASA uses and develops ultimately can become, you know, products on Earth like mylar balloons, memory foam. Right. But to snapping these images, and you did dodge my question earlier, so I'll bring it back to you. Why is it worth the tens of billions of dollars for us here on Earth today? What's useful about the science? Well, by nature, we are explorers. We are frontiers people. Uh, and so the question that we often ask is, who are we? Where are we? Why are we here? How is it that it developed that life as we know it 
has been created here on this stony mid-sized planet revolving about a mid-sized star that we call our sun. Is there life out there in the cosmos? By the way, by statute, that's one of NASA's missions, to look for life. And uh, we are constantly searching that. Uh, and so that's why we spend billions of dollars to explore the unknown. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, guys.